Hello everyone, welcome to another video. We're going to jump straight into things today. This is the perfect flow to do if you have super tight hamstrings. I'm calling this one hamstring repair and you're going to need two yoga blocks. And you're just going to start in a standard forward fold, fingertips to the yoga blocks, bending one knee then the other, and tuning into your body and tuning into your breath. Take a full breath in through your nose. And exhale, let it out. Move the block slightly in front of you, then just let your upper body hang forward, reaching for opposite elbows, slight bend in the knees. Allow your spine to relax, allow your hamstrings to relax. Bring the blocks under your shoulders and toe heel your feet out wide just outside the edges of the blocks and just right underneath your hips. So they should be about a foot apart. Flattening through your spine as much as you can. And as you feel your hamstrings releasing, straighten your legs a little more. From here, rock forward, lifting your heels, and rock back, lifting your toes. Lift heels, toes, 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 heels, toes. A couple more times. Then allow your heels to come down. Bring yourself back to your breath as you toe heel your feet out a couple more times, coming into a wide angled standing forward fold. Extend your hands forward on the blocks, then drop your chest towards the mat. Super big stretch here. As you're breathing with every exhale, Allow your hamstrings to lengthen. So we're envisioning our hamstrings relaxing and lengthening with every breath. And if it feels good, you can externally and internally rotate at your ankle. You might feel this down through your calf muscles as well. Bring your blocks under your shoulders so that you can lift your chest. Nice flat back here. Holding and breathing, pressing your hips back so your legs are nice and straight. Then rotate over to one side. I'm coming into a low lunge. Doesn't matter which side you do first, we're gonna do both evenly. Blocks are under the shoulders as you bend and straighten that front leg. Back leg is staying as straight as you can, down and up 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 down and hold looking forward dropping that back knee chest is tall that knee in the front should be right over your ankle drop your shoulders down and back we're getting into the hip flexor and the quad real quick here From here, come into half split, hands on the blocks, straightening your front leg. Your hips should be right over that back knee. To 
To take it deeper, lower the blocks to the halfway setting. Maybe you come down to your forearms. This is the perfect opportunity too to give yourself a little self foot massage. It feels so good here. And use your fingers to help pull your toes back towards you. That will deepen the hamstring stretch as well. Lift your chest, press forward into that low lunge again. Hands on the blocks, lift up. Hips are high, straightening the front leg, and bring yourself into a pyramid pose. So your feet should be about three feet apart. That back foot is slightly turned out. Hips are nice and square. Back is nice and flat. And adjust to the setting of the blocks. It feels good for you. If you can bring your hands all the way to the floor, do it. If you need the highest setting on the blocks, do it. From here, blocks are slightly in front of that front foot. We're coming down into a deep squat here and then pressing one leg up. So lower down and press up. Lower down and press up. If you have to watch me on screen for a second, go ahead and do it. Down and up, down and up. Every time we're pressing into as close to a split as we can. This is really working the hamstring of the standing leg. Come down and up, just a couple more. Down and up, down and up. Beautiful, hold it for a second. Then go ahead and replace both feet right next to each other. Feel the difference in your hamstrings because we're about to work the other leg. Extend the opposite leg back. Come into that low lunge and you're going to bend and straighten the front leg. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Beautiful, go ahead and drop the big knee, the back knee, the chest is up tall. Allow your hips to drive down towards the mat, pressing straight down. You should feel this in the hip flexor of the back leg. Always a good option to find a slight back bend here that will deepen the pressure into that hip flexor as well. From here, press your hips back, half split, half Hanumanasana. Again, always listening to your body. Never push to a point where it's too painful to, to hold, that you're holding your breath. You should always be able to breathe through the stretch. It's a good indicator that you're putting the right amount of pressure on your muscles. If you went deeper on the other side, go ahead and go deeper here, down to your elbows. 
Maybe incorporate that foot massage. If you're down on your elbows, come back up to your hands. Find any little last movements here that you need to. And then go ahead and lift yourself all the way up. Set up for your pyramid pose. We'll be here for a moment. Again, nice flat back, making sure your hips are square. From here, blocks in front of your front foot, crouch down, and you're gonna send that opposite leg all the way up towards the ceiling. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Beautiful, both feet together. Just take a moment to hold this standing forward fold. See where your hamstrings are at. We're a little over halfway through this flow. Maybe release the blocks, just grab opposite elbows, let your upper body hang. Hands to the floor, toe heel your feet wide a couple inches outside of your mat on either sides. Reach around, grab behind your calves so you're reaching outside your legs. Deep breath in, or you can grab your ankles. And as you exhale, actively pull with your arms. You're really using your arms here. Option to stay there or reach for your blocks in front of you, driving your chest towards the floor. Take your deepest stretch yet. Really focusing on letting the hips press back behind you as your arms stretch out in front. Okay, perfect. Lower down to your knees and bring yourself to a seated position. We're gonna come onto our backs for this next portion of this video. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. If you are, make sure that you're liking this video, leaving a comment, letting me know that you loved it. I so appreciate when you guys do that. All right, I bumped the video back a couple seconds. You're gonna take the block and place it right under your hips so that you can comfortably lift your knees. Then go ahead and grab underneath your right knee. So you're pulling that right knee up towards your armpit and extending your left leg nice and long. So this way we'll get a really, really nice stretch through the left hip flexor. As you do this, find some circles with your left ankle. Don't worry, we'll get into the hamstrings for a second. Just enjoy this stretch for now. 
Then grab the bottom of your right heel with your right hand and start driving that right knee back towards the mat. So almost like you want to put it behind your shoulder. Beautiful. From here, next option is to fully straighten the right leg up. So you'll feel that all down your right hamstring. Then bring the right leg right back to midline so your hips are square. The hip is no longer open. This is the most intense hamstring stretch in this position. Nice, go ahead and switch sides. So allow your left knee to come into your chest, pulling that knee towards your armpit. Right leg goes long, circles at the ankle. Take the bottom of your left foot with your left hand, open that knee up. It's like a half happy baby here. Next option is to fully extend that left leg open to the side. Hold and breathe, letting gravity do the work. That's why we have the block there. Now pull that leg right back to your midline, ultimate hamstring stretch. Again, find any little movements that you need here. Even reach behind your leg to massage out some tight spots along your calf and your hamstring. Beautiful. From here, we're going to pulse, pulse, and switch as I am on screen. Switch, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch. Pulse, pulse, switch, 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 pulse, pulse, switch. Couple more times. Give me left and give me right and relax. Beautiful. Feet come down, lift your hips, remove the block. Give me a couple rock and rolls, forwards and backwards. And on that third one, Tuck your heels in under your butt and bring yourself all the way back up to that standing forward fold. Nice. See if you can come to your forward fold without the use of blocks. Let me know in the comments if you can bring your palms all the way flat to the floor in this posture or if you're on your journey, I wanna know. Now step your legs nice and wide. I went ahead and turned to the side of my mat if you guys want to too and both hands around the left leg, pulling that forehead towards your shin. Super active, back is flat, hips are up. Switch sides, and a good indicator if you're doing this with good form and that you're getting more flexible is you might even feel like you're tilting forward. So you should be engaging your toes and even playing around with that little forward backwards tilt to help increase that hamstring stretch. All right, All right left hand down, right arm up towards the ceiling, find some small rotations at the shoulder, really opening up, chest is aiming towards the ceiling here so we're really initiating that twist switch sides right hand down left arm opens small rotations of the shoulder i'm actively squeezing my shoulder blades together behind my back beautiful right back to center drop down into a malasana or yogi squat and right back up drop down right back up drop down right back up this is active protect the knees drop down right back up i'm using my fingertips drop down back up a couple more times down and up option to do the little bounces or not totally up to you last time land in that standing forward fold take that right foot behind the left foot press up standing split down and up down and up we have seven hey six up five up four up three up two up and one and up 
hold it for a second nice same thing other side then we're going to relax switch sides we're coming down we're pressing up into that standing split up down and up keep going eight seven six five four three two and a one hold it up for a second and beautiful standing forward fold allow your upper body to fully relax grab opposite elbows maybe tuck your chin slightly to your chest to release any tension along the back of your neck Now this is called gorilla pose. So we're gonna take our palms face up towards us. The backs of our hands are on the floor and bring them underneath our feet. And I'm actually tilting slightly forward to bring some more pressure to the backs of my hands. So if you wanna pause the video and hold that a little longer, go ahead and do so. But if you're ready to come to the floor, go ahead and come all the way here, come to a straddle pose on the floor, rocking your chest left and right. We just have a couple minutes together here. Hopefully your hamstrings are feeling amazing and more stretched out than they were before. Rocking the hips side to side. Excuse me, the chest side to side. Hips are staying right there, but we're leaning forward with the chest and having this rocking motion. As you're doing all of this, do your best to keep your knees from falling too far forward. Drop down to your elbows. If this is too much for you, stay on your hands or stay seated up. There we go. Knees should be up and back. Avoid letting them round forward. Sit into your straddle. Find that stillness. If you can, if you're flexible and you want to lower down to your chest, do it. If you're down on your chest, press up to your fingertips. Use your hands to pull your legs in and together. Come back to seated. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And go ahead and find a rocking motion in your neck side to side, just a half circle. Then hold your head over to the right side. Let your left hand drop down behind you on the mat. And switch sides. Head to the left, right hand drops. Chest right back at center. Big roll in your shoulders. Reaching the arms up over your head. Deep breath in. Exhale, your hands to your third eye. And namaste. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and practicing with me. Thank you for tuning into your body, and I will see you in the next video.